In this Guide Gatineau video, I talk to Joanne Holden, who has the photo blog musicianonskis.ca. You're the uh, musician on skis, and uh, how long have you been taking pictures in the, in the park? I guess about six years since the first digital camera came into our hands. It was a three megapixel point and shoot by Kodak. You press the shutter and usually get someone's skis or a backside going by because it was so slow. <laughs> <laughs> and the first race I went to, that's all I got was uh, boots and bums. <laughs> and and uh, did you immediately think you wanted to post them on the, on the web? No, but my husband thought I should because, well, he's the engineer. He started me up with the first site, which ran off of his work site. He said, because I skied every day, he he thought there was a great interest in people knowing how the trail conditions were. So he's very practical about it. He wanted me to post my trail conditions. But I I sort of went from the other side where I I was more inspired by the scenery and the people Mm -hmm. and the whole activity in general, as well as the trails. So do you put up a picture every single day? Yeah, pretty much. But I don't always take one every day. Sometimes I, I have a little archive of photos that I couldn't choose between and I'll use them or or sometimes I just can't stand to put another boring parkway photo up so I'll pick out something you know icy leaves or something that has nothing to do with skiing sort of in the summer in summer I can do whatever I like so it's usually outdoors not always or animals or um, kayaking or it's, it's rarely inner city <laughs> bustle mm-hmm. Um, and it's rarely family because I don't want it to be a family site. I want it to be something everybody can relate to. And not, not about me. Well, I guess it is about me in a way. You could read into it, but um, direct, it's not directly about me. So you talked about, about taking pictures of nature versus people, but there's a fair split. Well, no, lots of people too, but mm-hmm. people outside uh, doing healthy things. So it could be cycling or even swimming. <laughs> Those shots are very boring. But it's kind of fun to take the camera swimming. You need an underwater camera. It's waterproof, no, and, I, no. and I carry it in a little teeny um, pelican box, mm-hmm. a little string behind my wetsuit. And um, yeah, all you have to do, the wetsuit keeps you floating, so um, it's not too hard, hard to take a photo. The hard part's finding anything interesting to take it up. <laughs> <laughs> my only underwater attempts were really bad. A couple of weeds. <laughs> do you have a favorite? A shot? favorite? Or a favorite? Uh, type of shot? Well, I love scenery. Um, different seasons. Um, I really like wildlife, but I'm not prepared to sit there quietly for eight hours and wait for it. So um, I like to try and get some exercise at the same time. Mm-hmm. That's the challenge. Um, it does get kind of routine after a while. You know, you go up the parkway, there comes some skiers, you take the photo, and um, but they're usually different skiers, so that's kind of nice too. And they usually try to go and visit and see themselves on the Well, on the I site always tell them how to find their photo, or if mm-hmm. they don't see it posted, they can send, their, send me an email and I'll send it to them. So I can, I've gotten to meet a lot of people. And do you track the amount of traffic you see? Uh, oh, yes. Uh, the fascinating part is on Monday morning, it goes way up. Oh, really? <laughs> when everyone's at work. And on the weekends, I'm pleased to say it goes way down because they're all out skiing. Yeah, it's remarkable, really. I almost thought of not posting photos on the weekend. Because they're all too busy, really, to check anyway. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and in the summer, when I'm enjoying the photography the most, it actually goes down. And mm-hmm. I think I post my best photos in the summer. And do you but, think that has anything to do with the, the well, title think, of the blog? I think so. And I think skiers are the ones who follow it. So it's, it's interesting that the race photos are the most popular. Mm-hmm. But um, You talked about <clears throat> the, your, uh, just a little simple camera and you don't have any... Usual. I don't have the same simple one I started out with. Though. That was too simple. But you're not carrying a big, uh, no, long it's, lens? No, it's a tiny or... little portable camera. Most of the time, races I have a bigger camera. Kayak I take a, a medium or a large size camera. It's a bit of a risk, but, <laughs> but at least I know I'm not going to fall down the hill and smash it. And I have to get it out quickly, skiing or I'll freeze to death. Mm-hmm. So. Do you have problems with batteries getting nope, chilled? Down not or... usually. If it's really, really cold, uh, I might. might mm-hmm. only have a few photos, but usually it's fine. Well, sometimes people ask... You know how I take all these photos, but the secret is just being out there and have a camera with you. Yeah. You know, because if the opportunity comes, like today, and you don't have a camera with you, you're going to regret it. Want more? Visit guidegatno.ca.